is up you guys i am mlb chatterbox aka christian Corey. you sadly see the title and the thumbnail in today's video i'm filming this it is almost 10 o'clock at night the news just broke i did not want to film this video for tomorrow um i you know i saw it i know what i feel about it i don't need to read any more about it i don't need to hear reports by buster only or or ken rolensall or or Joel Sherman, or any of those wackadoos who write about baseball. I don't need reports from the Indians. I don't need reports from the MLB. I don't need a statement from our dumb commissioner, Rob Manford. I don't need any of that to react to this. I'm giving my hardcore, uh, in the moment reaction to this literally just dropped. I'm mean, filming this at night. If you saw the title and the thumbnail, yes, it is true. This is not clickbait, sadly. I wish it was clickbait. Um, the Indians are changing their name to God knows what. Um, I did not want to film this tomorrow, like I said. The Indians are going to change their name. You kind of saw this coming. Did not know it was going to happen this year particularly, but hey, it's 2020. I mean, this is this is a such a 2020 thing. Might as well end it off in a 2020 way. The Indians are changing their name to something else. Who knows? No one knows. It's not the Indians anymore. The, I hope to God they're not going to be called the Cleveland Baseball Club like the dumb Redskins change their name to the Washington Football Club. I mean, if you're going to change your damn name, I mean, can give me a can give me a good ass uh, uh, name. Seriously, give me an actual name. When it comes to names, I've seen uh, the Cleveland Municipals. I've seen uh, you know the Cleveland Browns because you know there was a baseball team name back in the day in the 30s and the 40s. They were the St. Louis Browns. Yes, I know they have. Uh, the Cleveland Browns football team, they could do that, but it would confuse people, people who aren't, you know, smart and do, doesn't know what a baseball versus football team is. It could confuse some idiots out there, so they probably won't go with the Cleveland Browns. Uh, you know, I'm trying to think of names of Cleveland Expos. That's just a name because I know what the Expos are. They've been a team before in Montreal. You could do, you know, I mean... The Cleveland Senators, that would not make any sense whatsoever because they're not in Washington. There's no Senators in Cleveland. A name that could be out there that could be pretty interesting that I just kind of thought of just to really tick people off um, would be the Cleveland Americans. Why not? Um, they're in the American League. They're in an American city. Baseball is America's game. I always have said that. I always believe that. That will always be true in fact. Uh, until the end of time, uh, I would call them the Cleveland Americans, my early name. This is truly asinine that they're doing this. Um, I understand that it offends some people. Uh, you know, I myself being Arabic or Arab, I don't care, I can say it. The name Redskins, I can understand. That's more racially driven, racially derogatory, I understand that. Um, the Chief Wahoo looks like a cartoon. I can understand that, but it's not uh, making fun of the Native Americans because they actually did have a feather and things of that nature. Some tribes did. Um, now the red skin, I can understand that. They don't like the red skin, but if they had them brown, then people of brown and black color would not like that because people would think that's offensive toward people who are brown and black, such as myself. I consider myself brown if you want to go there. Uh, sure, because I am Arabic, Lebanese. So the point is, uh, you know, it could offend that some people when it comes to the color of the Indian because it's red. But, you know, I think, you know, p baseball does not understand that most people who go to an Indians game don't think of the Indians in a negative way. I think we have a civilized nation for the most part. I think people are civilized. I think people are mature adults. I think when they go to an Indians game, they do not go to the Indians game to make fun and laugh at the logo and laugh at the name itself. No, I don't think they ever crossed people's minds. The people that did cross the minds of a people who don't know baseball and do not know sports and do not know how to be civilized without looking at something and automatically thinking something, something negative about anything there is. You could, offend, you could offend anybody about anything. The Angels logo is offensive to me because I am Catholic. Uh, and you know what, the angels red, I don't like the angels being red. Red uh, for me uh, kind of looks at that as a devil. Red is a devil's color. Why are you putting an angel's red when it becomes 
you know, to an angel, which I believe is something good, a, a good spirit. Why would you have it red, which in my eyes looks as a devil and, and the devil's color. So why would you do that? Of course, I'm exaggerating to the fullest on that one. I don't think of it like that at all, but I'm just saying I could point that out and make a very valid point while doing it. The devil rays, you got rid of the word devil, but yet there's still the New Jersey devils. So, you know, go uh, figure out that one. Uh, you know, uh, well, to Kansas City Royals, that could be offensive, superior, superior to people. I mean, I could go all day with this, literally. But my advice to the Indians, I'm recalling the Indians until they change their name officially. I'm not calling them the Baseball Club of Cleveland or the Cleveland Baseball Club. That is asinine. Um, come up with a good name, come up with a good logo, and it better be awesome. Don't know what Cleveland Americans is my number one choice, but better come up with a good name and a good logo. That's all I got to say for this video. It's short, it's sweet, to the point. Terrible move by the Indians, terrible move by the MLB. People need to grow up and be civilized human beings. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little clip. And as always, I'll catch you later. Wow. <laughs>